The Influence of Paganism on Christianity Overwhelming evidence exists that modern-day Christian beliefs, practices, and concepts, such as the atonement, salvation, the idea of God incarnate in man, the blood sacrifice, the concept of a triune God, and other Christian concepts, did not originate from God nor Jesus Christ. Instead, they came from men, influenced by pagan rituals and beliefs. These Christian rituals came from the same pagan beliefs and ideals that Jesus Christ fought against and did all he could to destroy. These Christian ideas came from pagan Roman and Greek concepts, and Hinduism, Buddhism, and other pagan ideologies. The pagan worship environment that Paul was immersed in heavily influenced him. The idea of a man-god, similar to the Christian belief in Jesus Christ's divinity, is not a new concept. The ancient Egyptian pharaohs were supposedly man-gods, who had to be sacrificed for society's greater good and were worshipped by believers. Other past nations falsely worshipped man-gods. The Christian symbol was first a fish, a symbol of the Last Supper. Then it morphed into a cross. The ancient Egyptians also used the cross as their religious symbol of their sun god, the cross of light. The Trinity is also not new, as Christians took that concept from pagan ideologies. Many ancient religions held the idea of a threefold division in the entities they worshipped such as in ancient Egypt, Greece, and India. Trinities were worshipped in various places during the time of Jesus Christ. Some of the pagan gods wrongfully worshipped supposedly died violently and were resurrected to save their people, such as Christians believe. The ancient Egyptians worshipped a trinity, and their trinity symbols were a wing, glove, and serpent which they felt represented three attributes of their god. Egyptians worshipped the trinity of gods Horus, Isis, and Osiris long before the time of modern Christianity. The gods of the Greco-Roman Palmyra were the Lord in the heavens, the sun god, and the moon god. The Babylonians and Zoroastrians also worshipped a trinity of gods, as did many other past societies. Hindu worship revolves around a trinity consisting of Brahma, Shiva, and Vishnu. Their followers believe that their gods died for the sins of their believers. Do these concepts sound familiar? Do a quick internet search and read if you do not believe these words. In Mithraism, Persians believed Mithra to be a great mediator between God and man. He was born on December 25th by a virgin who died for humanity and was resurrected after being buried. He was called their savior. Mithra's festivals were the winter solstice and the vernal equinox, Christmas and Easter. Again, these modern-day Christian concepts were taken from past pagan religions. December 25th is not found in the original teaching of Jesus Christ nor is it the date that Jesus Christ was born, as many Christian scholars acknowledge. December 25th fell around the time of the pagan celebration of the winter solstice, which fell in midwinter during the shortest day of the year, when the sun is born. December 25th was known as the birthday of the Roman sun god, Sol Invictus, and the Persian sun god, Mithra. Many of the gods worshipped in the past were sun gods, and nearly all were born on or around what is now Christmas Day. Christians borrowed the concept of Christmas Day from the ancient pagan festival of the sun. The actual birth date of Jesus Christ is unknown. Some indicate that Jesus' birthday is in early spring, because of the biblical reference to his birth that referenced the shepherds watching their flocks by night as stated in Luke chapter 2, verse 8. The shepherds would not have worked in the fields with their livestock during the long, cold winter, 
but no solid evidence of the actual date of Jesus Christ's birth exists, as it is not mentioned anywhere in the scriptures. The concept of the Christmas tree, its ornaments, and Santa Claus also come from pagan ideologies. The concept of Easter is derived from a pagan spring festival of the Anglo-Saxon goddess of light and spring, Jostra. Paganism also influenced the concept of Easter eggs. Christians moved the day of the Sabbath, which was on Saturday. Sabbath, in Arabic, connotates seventh, as it is the seventh day of the week. To the Roman Sunday, Dies Soli, the holy day of the sun god Apollo, who was wrongfully worshipped. Once the innovative concept of one god as three different persons was introduced to the pagan Romans and others, it became easy to grasp and adopt the idea, as they had similar elements despite their different names. The pagans were familiar with the concept of gods in a trinity, so they accepted Paul's teachings.